Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're down at Dark Horse Detailing. My car is going to be getting a full detail on by Matt. So Matt's going to come in in a little while to obviously explain what products he um, is going to use on the car, what products and services he offers as well and where you can actually find Matt. Um, in the next couple of weeks the MX-5 is going to be getting a full detail as well. So that's another video to stay tuned for. So Matt if you'd like to come in. So just explain who you are, what you offer, and all of that. Hello, uh, my name's Matt, and welcome to Dark Horse Detailing. So we are G-Technic accredited for the Merseyside area. Um, G-Technic has one accredited detailer per region, and we cover Merseyside. So we've got two studios, we've got one over in Melling, and this is our new one in Southport, so this is the first job in. Um, we haven't really done anything else in here yet, so we're gonna get cracking. Um, so obviously the Fiesta is wrapped. We're gonna use G-Technics Halo, which is a flexible film coating, um, two-year protection, super hydrophobic, dead easy to maintain, as well as a whole host of other goodies throughout. So C5 wheel armor, G1 glass, um, probably a bit of C1 crystal lacquer on various bits of trim around it. But uh, yeah, could look good. Yeah, so we will wash the car first. Yeah. Yeah, so you'll get a little time lapse of that, and then we'll get the car in. Um, and then when you use some products, we'll then... Yeah, not quite sure how the breakdown of the day is going to go yet. We're just going to play it by wire, but we're going to get it washed now, get it in. Um, we might do the wheels in glass first. We might crack on with the coating. We'll see how it plays out. Yeah, stay tuned. Woo! So here at Dark Horse, Matt deals with a wide range of cars from Fiestas to Ferraris, classics to SUVs, you name it, Matt will do it, basically. Um, so if you are worried about who you take your car to for detailing or anything like that, then just know Matt is your guy. All of the links will be in the description anyway for where you can find Matt and all the products. So yeah, let's get into the video. Sweet. So we're going to start off W6, um, iron fallout remover, clean the wheels basically. So we're going to soak the wheels and then foam it all and uh, yeah, get cracking. We've got G-Technics G-Wash, um, nice soft lambs will mitt, and we're going to start top to bottom, uh, front to back, nice and careful. Is that so that you can get the roof? Yeah, I'm only a little. <laughs> Drying towel, G-Technic drying towels, um, nice and soft, nice and fluffy, easily do a full car with one of these. Right, so we're all washed and dried, um, we're going to get inside now and crack on. We haven't done the wheels yet, personal preference thing, I'm sure everyone will tell me that I'm doing everything wrong, but hey ho. Um, we're going to have the car up in the air anyway, take the wheels off, we're going to coat the wheels, calipers, all the rest of it. Once the wheels come off, I'll do a decon outside, clean them down properly. Right, so the first coating we're going to put on it is G1 Clear Vision Smart Glass. So this is a two year, 20,000 mile coating, um, goes on in three stages. We do the first coat on the front screen, leave it five minutes, second coat, leave it five minutes, third coat, leave it 15 minutes, and then we buff it all off with the residue remover. So before we apply, we're going to go around, give it all the glass a quick polish, and then a wipe down with some IPA, and, uh, and we'll get cracking. So we're just using a 50-50 IPA mix now, get rid of any residue from the polish and just make everywhere super clean before we put the coatings on. Right, so this is the third coat of G1 going on now. Um, we have done circles, we've done vertical lines, horizontal lines, just with an idea of making sure we're covering absolutely everything. So I've got a little bit to finish off there, and then we're gonna go around the rest of it and put a single coat on the rest of the glass, mainly because it doesn't take a battering like the windscreen does. And uh, 15 minutes, we'll get it all off with the residue remover. 
Right, so we've been 15 minutes cure time now. We've done three layers on the screen, one layer everywhere else, and now we're gonna take it off. So the residue remover, same process as putting it on, little cotton pad, small circles, and then buff off with an MF1 cloth. So once we've been round with the residue, which don't fall over that box there. So once we've been around with the residue remover, um, perfect glass. So essentially the residue remover gets rid of the residue from G1, and then this is just gonna remove any smears, anything that's left from the residue remover. Bit of, bit of spice on the uh, residue there as well. I'll start cracking your nuts off. So guys, we're, we're now doing the wheels outside. We didn't clean them when we were washing down before because they were gonna come off. Um, so we're using W6, iron and general fallout remover. We're leaving that to soak for a little bit. We'll give them a good scrub down and uh, get them coated. Wheel cleaner on um, and we're just agitating. Get rid of the dirt. We're gonna give them a wipe down with a nice soft mitt in a minute and then we'll rinse. So next up we have done the glass, the car's now up in the air, um, we've had the wheels off, we've had them outside, we've done a decom, we've got rid of all the fallout, the tar, any other bits of muck on them and we're going to use uh, C5, C5 wheel armour. So it's a two year high temp coating designed for your wheels, your calipers, um, exhaust tips, stuff like that. So we're gonna go through them one by one now. We're gonna wipe them down with a 50-50 IPA mix again. Uh, make sure the surface is perfectly clean and get to coating. Sweet, so all the wheels are coated. Um, we're gonna give the calipers a go over, clean the arch liners down and uh, coat everything else. So we're just using a citrus all-purpose cleaner for the arches and stuff and a watered down um, bilberry wheel cleaner for the calipers. So we'll get it all clean, um, same 50-50 IPA, wipe everything down, make sure it's all nice and it can have the same C5 on there and then we'll do the exhaust tips as well. All the arch lines are cleaned down, um, we'll put C5 on the wheels, we're going to do the calipers now and then probably put some C4 um, on the trim. Right, so we're finishing off now with T2 tyre dressing. g -Tech, they do two different types of tyre dressing, T1 which is for tyres and trim and T2 which is what's here. Um, R8 T2 is cheaper, um, goes on easier, looks better I think. It's a bit of a uh, milky solution, whereas the T1 is more of a gel. Right, so one of the last jobs before we put it back down now, everything else is coated down there. We're gonna give the exhausts tips a polish and um, get them coated, C5 on them. Again, high temp coating, do nice on here. You can't really see the outsides, but it'll keep the tar and the dirt from sticking, but it'll make all the insides nice and shiny as well. I struggle to get this in the hole. <laughs> what? Smooth. But um, your hole's so big, Rage. <laughs> You're getting your hole drilled. <laughs> right, so everything's clean, everything's protected. That looks really good under there, actually. This wasn't supposed to be part of the video, was it? But doesn't that look really nice and clean? Uh, so everything's clean, everything's protected. We're gonna stick the wheel back on now, put it on the deck. We're gonna do a bit of polishing on the mirror covers and the roof, and then we'll coat all the exterior tomorrow. So we've got the polisher out. I wasn't expecting to have to do any polishing on this because it's all wrapped, but that's what you get for not paying attention because there's some gloss black bits. So although it's wrapped, there's some little scuffs on the mirror covers, which I think with some final finish will come out nicely. And same with the roof. To my eye, it's, it's a little bit cloudy. There's not a great deal you can do with the wraps, but I think with a final finish going over it, it'll bring the gloss black and make it shiny again.
So we have just been over the roof with a final finish and as I suspected, come up really nice. So we'll put the strip of tape down the middle to try and show you the difference. We're not looking at paint levels of clarity, but it's clean, it's shiny, gloss black, and where we haven't done it looks really pretty. So that's it for today. Matt has washed the car, done a full decon of the wheels, he's polished the wing mirrors and the roof, making it not milky anymore. It looks spot on. Um, coated the wheels, the calipers, the tips, um, the arch liners, and tomorrow, oh yeah, and we've actually, we, obviously not we, Matt has coated the glass as well. Glass, gas, glass. The glass. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what's wrong with me today. Um, tomorrow we, like, I need to stop saying we. It's obviously Matt's show. Yeah, you I mean, put some clothes on you tomorrow. If you don't like doing it, you've been making brews. You've made a lot of brews today. Yeah, I've been the tea girl today. Um, obviously Matt's been the star of the show, but Matt tomorrow will be coating the wrap, and then it's just cure time and various bits of trim. And various bits of trim. So we will see you tomorrow. Okay, so we're on to day two and Matt is going to coat the car, so obviously the wrap is going to be coated in halo and then all the other trimmings and stuff like that is going to be coated as well. Matt will go into more detail in a bit um, and yeah, I think that's it. So over to Matt. Right guys, so day two, we're going to crack on now, um, G-Technic Halo. So it's a flexible film coating, um, makes the surface of the wrap super hydrophobic, all the rest of it. Um, we're going to do obviously all the wrap, the roof, the mirror covers in Halo. Um, a little bit later on, there's a few different um, textures that we're going to go around. So we're going to use C4, which is the trim restorer, all around the windows. We could probably do the little rubber strips around the mirror caps, places like that. Um, front grill, and then they do one called C1 Crystal Lacquer, which is a five-year coating. Doesn't add anything in terms of gloss, so it can be used on matte surfaces as well. So we're going to use that on the likes of the little bits of trim on the front bumper and things like that. Right, so we're going to start putting Halo on. Um, we're going to load the pad up first, make sure it's nice and saturated, and then uh, get going. So all the wraps done now, two coats of Halo, um, and we're on to the finishing touches. So next up is C4 Permanent Trim Restorer. Um, although it's not an old car, it'll make a massive difference. So we're gonna do over the doors, rubbers, little bits like this, round the mirrors, aerial, and there's a little bit to do on the front bumper as well. Um, once this is done, we're gonna use C1 Crystal Lacquer just on the front grill, and then it is uh, all set. So we just applied C4 to these bits of trim and the rubber underneath and you can see the difference even on a car that's a couple of years old, whatever it is. The last coating going on now is C1 Crystal Lacquer. So this is G-Technic, it's their original um, ceramic coating actually. Uh, it doesn't offer loads of gloss which is perfect for usually satin paintwork and things like that but in this instance there's some bits of trim around the front which are satin and I don't want to put a high gloss coating on them so that's where C1 comes in. So guys, that's a wrap, literally. Um, big thank you to Matt from Dark Horse Detailing. Obviously he's been the star of the show. 
Um, I've not been involved much. Obviously, it's been a detailing video. I think the only time I've actually featured in this video is the intro, getting a subway, making a brew, <laughs> or having a brew, and then now. So, yeah, um, we, we, Matt has used a lot of G-Technic stuff on my car today. This will be available on the More Talk website to come, if not already up on the website. So I'll leave a link in the description. Go and check the stuff out. Um, please go and check Matt's Instagram and other socials out. I'll leave them down below as well. So if you're interested in getting any coatings done, this will need to be applied by a G-Technic accredited detailer, such as Matt. So yeah, if you want anything, just speak to Matt. He'll then obviously put you in the books and stuff like that. But yeah, I hope you liked the video. Please like, comment, let me know if Matt's done a, job, a good job or not. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will see you in the next one. And also the MX-5 is going in for a detail soon. So stay tuned for that one. Bye-bye.